The partnership between the University of South Florida, Sarasota Manatee, and Moat Marine Laboratory will open up a new world of science exploration for future generations and create a totally immersed environment for learning. It's an absolutely synergistic relationship. Arthur Guilford is chancellor at USF Sarasota Manatee and highlights the important role that the new labs built at Moat will play in the first ever science courses offered through the campus. We'll actually be able to get our students involved not only in the research projects that our scientists have designed there, but we'll pair them up with moat scientists. So they may be going out on a boat together, they may be collecting samples together. The innovative partnership will provide a direct, hands-on approach, pairing students with world-class researchers from Moat Marine, as well as USF Sarasota Manatee faculty. Michael Crosby is the president and CEO of Moat Marine Laboratory. Moat is, is an extremely unique uh, marine research institution. I've been to a lot of marine labs all around the world, and there's nothing like Moat Marine Laboratory. Crosby has spent his career working to raise awareness about marine science and reinforces the importance of building bridges between the scientific community and the local community. He explains that Moat Marine was built on a partnership between a scientist and a local fisherman and says that knowledge exchange is crucial. Enhancing the level of ocean literacy amongst the public uh, and forming partnerships wherever you can between the community of scientists and the community of traditional knowledge um, that exists out there amongst uh, the people that live and work on the water, have grown up for generations around a bay or a coral reef environment. There's an amazing amount of knowledge that is there. The partnership will provide STEM-based curriculum for USF Sarasota Manatee students, shaping ideas for sustainability and solutions for growth in the area. We have to be thinking about the future generations, the future generations of scientists, the future generation of educators, future generation of Aquarius. And for the partnership that we have now with the University of South Florida Sarasota Manatee, it's all about the next generation. According to Crosby, the labs will be an innovative learning center that values the environment while utilizing science and technology to create jobs and economic growth. I know who I want to come work in my lab, somebody with skills. And so I want those workforce skills and I want, you know, people to be capable of critical thinking and making decisions based on evidence. and. Biology professor Aaron Martin is the general education coordinator at USF Sarasota Manatee and has been working to develop the STEM curriculum. I just really feel like for a science program, it's very important that with the way that we are rethinking the way that we teach science now, not memorize, 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 you do these steps and you'll get this outcome, you know, rather, oh, let's discuss this. Martin is excited about the partnership and says it's a great way for students to be exposed to scientists who are actively researching. Crosby and Moat scientists are encouraged by what the students will bring to Moat Marine, including new ideas and energy. I am extremely happy about the partnership. And you know, it's not just Moat and USF Sarasota Manatee that wins, it's the whole community. It's not only science majors who will be taking classes out at Moat Marine Labs. Most students at USF Sarasota Manatee will be exposed to the marine research because all incoming freshmen will need to satisfy science education credits and all science classes will be taught in the new labs. We're even starting a campaign of take the boat to moat and actually go from the back side of our campus directly across the bay to moat. Now what freshman won't fall in love with that? For USF News, I'm Katie Hennig.